so grateful to be here. Um, my name is Jada Smith, and I'm from Houston, Texas. And um, I was drugged and assaulted when I was 16 years old. My assault was posted virally on the internet, and um, I started to speak out and begin my activism, and now I'm a co-founder of Safe Bank. Hi everyone, my name is Ella Baron. I'm from Newport Beach, California, and at the age of 14, I was beaten, drugged, and raped by two very well-known athletes from my high school, which has led me into my activism with Safe Bay. Hi, my name is Charlie Coleman, and um, I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, my senior year of high school, my sister was drugged, sexually assaulted, and laid in our front yard in sub-freezing weather um, to fend for herself for multiple hours. The guys that did this, at this time were my friends, who I thought were my best friends. They were my teammates, my classmates. And after my sister's assault, we were ridiculed. We were tortured on social, any sort of social media, text, email. We had kids yelling stuff at my sister in the classrooms and stuff like that. And that is how I got into this. Hi everyone, I'm Daisy Coleman. Um, I'm one of the subjects from the film here and I'm also a co-founder of Safe Bay. When I was only 14 years old, I was sexually assaulted and left in my front yard after being inebriated at my brother's friend's house. And this all eventually led to my work in activism and eventually this film actually. And this film you're about to watch is a very special one because it's about two different stories. But both of those stories have very similar ties, all the same. They both illustrate what rape culture has become and what it's doing to our youth. And they're both real stories. This is all real life. And it's so real that the producers actually showed up at my front door one day and pitched the idea of the film to me. And it was after my assault went viral on TV. So basically, after that, um, it wasn't until I heard Audrey Park's story that I decided to go full force with this film. Excuse me. Us meeting one another as survivors in this film is what brought us together and what created Safe Bay in the first place. The name Safe Bay is significant to us because Bay, before anyone else, means that this organization was created to prevent what happened to us not to happen to anyone else. We also offer free tools to educate from K through 12, parents, and etc. about sexual assault at safebay.org. And the way that we um, approach high school and college students is different, but it's also similar. We always ask the students that they put themselves in the shoes of a victim and uh, really ask them what it would feel like if a loved one, one of their loved ones, was sexually assaulted. Um, we, get, we get the high school students in small, interactive and proactive circles where we're really having a discussion with them about how they feel rape culture takes a part in their community, which leads me to the subjects and materials that we bring to the table. We specify in these points. First being, um, sorry. What? Is this the one you wanna play? Oh my gosh, okay. Are you, well the first one with? being um, changing school culture by giving them these proactive and interactive activities that they can do within their Different community. Ways. Actually, one of our most powerful tools out right now is our Title IX so now the, uh, the video title series. Video. Just quick poll real quick. How many of you guys actually knew your Title IX rights when you video? were in high school Perfect. or college? Okay, so that, that, that is the issue uh, nowadays, nowadays even. Yep. And it was the issue for these girls and myself as well. We didn't know our rights. And what this video does, it's one of a kind. Ooh, it, it really simplifies yeah, what Title IX is. And it shows all teachers, students, and it's really easy to understand. It makes it very simple and it it's perfect and we've gotten great feedback on this video and so we'll show it to you real quick and enjoy. I am Title IX. Title IX prohibits sexual harassment, discrimination, or assault in any federally funded education programs like your school. I am Title IX. Title IX requires schools to tell you and your parents about its policies against sex discrimination, such as sexual 